Hello everyone, and welcome back to the tutor. In the previous video, I looked through the Pokedex to find out which Pokemon is the coldest. Regice emerged as the winner, as the Pokedex states it cloaks itself with frigid air of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit, and its deep frozen body can't be melted, even by fire. Now this got me wondering, how much heat would it take to melt Regice? Now I know what you're thinking, that seems like a mean thing to do, it's not very Reg nice, but with the new Regis coming in the Crown Tundra DLC, this might be a good way to get a preview at what a water Regi could look like. These calculations will be based on the assumption that Regis's body is made entirely of ice. I think this is plausible to assume because the Pokedex states that Regis is made out of ice from the Ice Age and it has an ability called Ice Body. Also. Reggie Rock's Pokedex entry states that his entire body is made of rock, so it would make sense that Regice is entirely ice as its counterpart. Let's break down how we're going to calculate how much heat is required to melt Regice. Here we have a graph where the horizontal axis represents the amount of heat added and the vertical axis represents the temperature of Regice. We'll do our calculations in two steps. First, we have to calculate how much heat is required to raise Regice's body temperature to 0 degrees Celsius, which is the point at which ice melts. We then have to calculate how much energy is required for the phase change from solid to liquid, which represents the ice melting. The temperature of Regice won't increase during this process as the heat energy will go into changing the H2O from a solid into a liquid rather than increasing the temperature and adding these values together will give us the total heat energy needed to melt Regice. Now, the math involved might get a bit complicated, kind of like the method for catching the Regis, so stick with me here. First, we'll have to look at the specific heat of ice. For our purposes, we can define specific heat as the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree Celsius. So if I had a 1 gram block of ice at negative 3 degrees Celsius, the specific heat would be the specific amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of this block of ice by 1 degree Celsius. Since ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius, we have to first calculate how many degrees we have to raise Regice's body temperature from its starting temperature. The Pokedex tells us that Regice starts at negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit, so let's convert this to Celsius, since this is the unit most scientists use. Using this formula, I converted Regice's temperature of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius to get negative 200 degrees Celsius. The number for Regice's temperature seems kind of arbitrary in Fahrenheit, but it's a nice round value in Celsius. So. Since Regice starts out at negative 200 degrees Celsius, and ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius, we have to raise its temperature by 200 degrees Celsius. To calculate how much heat would be needed to change the temperature of a certain substance by a certain number of degrees, we can use the equation Q equals mc delta t, where m is the mass of the substance, c is the specific heat capacity of the substance, Delta T is the change in temperature of the substance, and Q is the amount of heat. Starting with M, we can figure out the mass of Regice from the Pokedex, which tells us it has a mass of 385.8 pounds. Doing some unit conversions, I figured out that Regice has a mass of 175,000 grams. For Regice's Delta T, or change in temperature, we figured out earlier that we need to increase Regi's temperature by 200 degrees Celsius. Now C, or the specific heat capacity, is where we encounter a problem. 200 degrees Celsius is a huge range of temperatures. The pictures shown here are at places only 100 degrees Celsius apart. And because of this, the specific heat capacity of ice changes quite a bit from negative 200 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. So, instead of doing one calculation to see how much heat energy is needed to increase Regice's body temperature by 200 degrees, I'll have to do it about 12 times and add the results with a different specific heat each time. And uh, that looks a little something like this. In total, 
it would take 45.2 million joules of heat to raise Regice's body temperature to 0 degrees Celsius, but we're still not done. Since we've reached the melting point of ice, we now have to calculate how much heat is needed to change Regice from a solid to a liquid, and thankfully this calculation is a lot easier. The heat of fusion is the change in heat that occurs when a solid is melted at its melting point, and for ice, this is approximately 333.5 joules of heat per gram of ice. If it takes this much heat for 1 gram of ice to melt, then for 175,000 grams, it takes about 58.4 million joules of heat. Adding this to our value to raise Regice's temperature tells us that the total amount of heat required to melt Regice is 103.6 million joules. Now that seems like a big number, but it's not really that huge, so let me put it into perspective. Propane is a molecule that is commonly burned as a fuel in things like blowtorches, barbecues, and portable stoves. When propane combusts, it reacts with oxygen in the air to form carbon dioxide and water vapor, bursting into flames. Now I did some calculations, and in order to produce 103.6 million joules of heat, you would need to burn about 4.17 liters of propane, which isn't actually that absurd. It's a bit over two of those two liter soda bottles you buy at the supermarket. So, the claim that reg ice can't be melted with fire doesn't seem to hold water. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Let me know which Pokemon you'd like to see me melt next. Until next time, I'll be waiting for you to come back to the tutor.